debut of Ahara Davis in the red shorts and he sold quite a few tickets and apparently had quite a few famous faces in the ring there Josh so I'm, I'm not up on the, uh, the celebrities thing but uh, a few well known faces in there. <laughs> I'm beating in 18 amateur fights. Ahara Davis turning over to the pros now, won the final of the Harrogate Box Cup. I've heard a lot of good things about this young man. He trained about and thought he was in America. Yeah he's, he's the to go in there and the Mayweather's. I know he's supposed to be a very very good Prospect, and if he's as good as what he, what people say is, and how I think he is, I think he'll stop him if it's quite early. Oh, Josh, he's, 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 he's settled this, settled down very quickly. Yeah, nice settled pro, nice yeah. jabs and stepping out. Just drops that hand away from his face when he jabs, but he doesn't seem overawed by it. He's settled nicely, kind of jab to the body here. He's, he's working off the jab nicely the first time around. Right hand over. 
the top there. I think, I think, I think um, he's, in, he's in survival mode already. Yeah, I think well, the Nicholas has tasted the power and doesn't want to get too involved, but he looks nice and settled, David. I quite like that, and he's pro David. He doesn't seem to be any sign of nerves. He seems to have settled really, really nicely. Just working off that jab. Oh, I love So a lot of tech, it's got a big crowd here. This, I know there's a, potentially a good future, this young, young I like, I like, I like the look of him already. I think he's showing him a lot of attributes. He's going to do well. Yeah, he looks very nice. Very nice. So, so the only thing I'd say is as he jabs, he pulls his hand away from his chin. A little bit of his watch his right hand pull away from his chin as he jabs. But he likes to loop that right hand over the top there. Trained by Tundi, he's got Spencer Beer in, in his corner as well, so he's got a great training camp behind him, great like training team at the Peacock's gym, I believe. Settled very nice. It's looping our hand, looking for the lockout. Maybe he starts seeing throw it down the middle. But it's easy for a new pro to get a bit overruled, especially if he's sold a few tickets and he hasn't gone mental. Ahara Davis, he's settled in nicely, he hasn't done anything crazy, he's having a little look. That was nice from him, right to the bottom left, a nice right hand there from him. You can see why people are excited about him. He's so so, so funny. The Vickis looks a little bit overruled at the moment. I think Ahara's trying to go into, into a fiver, and the Vickis is having none of it. He's covering up quite well, Levickis, but there's not a lot coming back from Levickis at the moment. He's not really asking him. It's just a punch bag at the moment for Davis. He did try one or two shots there, but nice work from Davis. A nice settled first round in professional boxing from him. That right hand's nice when he likes it. He turns his hips and shoulders, so he punches with his body weight, Josh, which is nice to see. Rushing in, just measuring. Let's caught the right hand on the way in now. Keep, just sh keep shaking his head, you like. Keep to get down to work a bit more. He gets stumbled from the right hand that come in, but more balance and power. And good opening. So good opening round in professional boxing for Harvard Davis there in the red shorts. Against Ivan Levickis. Ivan Levickis is coming off of a win in his last fight, a knockout win. Josh, a Latvian. TKO in the first round, so you know he's won nine, eight of them have been KOs, but most of them fights have been in Latvia, where he's got most of his wins and his knockout wins. But you don't know the stand of opponent out there. Absolutely, so. yeah. But he's lost 12, seven been KO'd seven times, so can be if, stopped. if Davis can get to him, yeah, I think he can stop him. And I expect Davis to stop him if I'm honest. But he's settled quite nicely. Nice right hand, catch him nice there. Some good shots for Davis. I'd like to see him just up his work rate a little bit because obviously when he puts shots together he's finding very nicely but he's looking for that counter shot, nice burst there, a little bit too far away but nice little burst from him there, nice counter left hook there from Davis, good stuff, he's got good feet, he moves in and out well Davis, he's not wasting energy but he knows how to be on his toes, he does. a bit of a wild right hand there, just gets caught on the left hook from Levickis there. And again, a right hand just missing, double jab pushing Levickis back. And a nice lead left hook there, and that rocks Levickis back onto the ropes and tries to right to the body there, Davis. You've been impressed with Davis so far, Josh? I'm very impressed. It's so good, good hand speed, good jab, I like, like the look of him. stunned too much yet, although he's took in full blooded shots, he hasn't been stiffened, it doesn't seem as of yet, but it's still early. He looks at that right hand counter Davis quite nice, he likes to dip the shoulder back and then throw the right hand over the top, and that's the one he caught, the Vickers with it, straight down the right. But a good solid performance for a pro Davis, you've got to give him that Josh, he's settled nicely, there's no... You wouldn't think he was a novice? Absolutely. So I'm beating A 
18 amateur fights, he's done stuff with the Mayweather's as we talked about. And that was part four punch combination now. Driving Levickis back to the ropes and he's starting to tee off on Levickis a bit now and he's going on the ropes a little look. Levickis comes back to left now. O'Hara Davis is stepping in. Ref's having a look. Levickis has got to fight back or the referee's going to jump in here. Davis lets him out. Sensible from Davis there. He was throwing shots but he wasn't hitting him clean. He didn't blow himself out there, Josh. That was quite, quite good to see there. So round three of a scheduled four rounds and a very good lively round there in round two from Ahara Davis and he's winning the two rounds comfortably but it really did start to tee off on Levickis there Josh and really started to hurt him in that last round. Yeah, I hope I think if Davis keeps up I think he'll get to him this round. I think the referee took a good close look at him at the last. He did show maturity there, just we talked about the last one as it was happening. He was hitting Levickis in the corner, Levickis was taking a lot of it on the, the arms, but Davis didn't just keep going and, and, and wade away aimlessly. He had the sense to take a step back, know that he'd get to him again, and that was, uh, that was impressive to see for such a young, young pro or novice in his first professional fight. I think he's just... You wouldn't expect someone's debut just to take their time and be settled as he is, so it's really impressive. Yeah, he's done well. He's, he's warmed into it nicely, and he's obviously a confident young lad. And that was nice, the double jab on right hand. And I think if he does that a few more times, I think he'll catch him. I think the double jab right hand will work against the Vickers. The Vickers leans back rather than moves his feet. And the trouble is that when you lean back, you can only lean back so far before the, the punches hit you. So it'll be... Uh, he likes that left hook counter, Ahara Davis. Vickis moving around, he's not got involved too much with Vickis. It's hard to stop someone that's covering up and not, and then let the shot go because that's when you're going to catch him on the chin. So. Absolutely, yeah. So Davis has got to find a way of trying to unlock him. He's done well so far. Nice right hand there, nice one two from Davis. A wild left hook just before that that Davis see come in and Davis relaxing the shoulder now and just popping that jab out, just keeping Levickis in the corner. Nice left hook right hand there from Davis. And a right hand again, mainly on the gloves of Levickis. But some nice short, sharp shots from Davis. Nice body work there. Oh, I was just completely toying with it now. That's nice. Yeah, it's Showing some confidence, showing some good moves. So I'd like to see him double the jab up and then throw the right hand over. I think he could catch the Vickers quite, quite nicely with that. And he moves out of the way. He doesn't stay in the pocket too long after he's thrown his shot. So he's not getting counted on the way out, which is good to see. Nice right hook, trying to get it around the left glove of the Vickers. He's pulled that jab out. Just missing with the right hand there, Levick has come back with a left hook of his own, just missing. He's worked that jab to the body, that single jab he's done quite nicely. Yeah, Davis, at the end of the third round. So fourth for last round, I was just looking through the record, Josh, in between the round there, and just see that like, obviously George Jupp had stopped Levick in three rounds, Charlie Rice has stopped Levick in three rounds. And I expected Davis to, to stop the Vickers, which he still may do as we come into the last fight. I think it's been a good solid performance from him in his opening fight. I don't think he's really hurt the Vickers at any time of note. Although he did have him in the corner in the second round and obviously the barrage of punches. But then maybe that could be the, the tactic. Maybe he's come in not to blast him out, just get some rounds, learn as a pro. Missing that right hand now. One thing we can say is we know he's comfortably winning, Josh. Oh, sure. he's right every second of every round, is not he? But he really has shown some flashing nice stuff at times. It's his pro debut. It's always hard to get a measure of people on their on their debut. There's a lot to a lot to factor in, like the 
selling tickets, which they've probably not done before, and everything else like that. Big pressure. Yeah, it's, it's a big change as well. So, uh, but to be fair to the young man, he's, he seems to have handled it all quite nicely. And he moves in and out nicely there. Nice left hook, just catching the Vickis there. The right glove was up on the Vickis. I was being critical with Davis, I'd say there's perhaps just been too many single jabs, just like the same type. When he tied the combinations together, he's done really nice. The double jab right hand there worked quite well. Just like to see him drop to the body as well. So sometimes I think it's maybe just a single single jab too often, but again, it's, 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 all, it's all stuff to work on in the gym. Well, and that's, that's really, you know, sort of splitting hairs. So it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been a pretty flawless performance, really. Yeah, sure. He's, you know, he's won every round, like I say. I'm, I'm really just sort of splitting hairs, but I'm sure Tundi and Spence will take it away and there'll be things that they've spotted that we haven't and they'll work on. They know their fighter inside out. The Vickers is, I think, come to survive with a, a wild left hook from the Vickers there. Nice shots of the body. And that was nice by Davis. A nice movement there from Davis. Very, very nice. Looking to wind in big shots into the body there, Davis. The Vickers just spinning off the ropes there. Nice jab again from Davis. And it hasn't really caught fire this fight, Josh, has it? It's been a good solid performance from Davis, but it hasn't really caught caught alive. But then maybe we will spoil it in the last fight between Malinder and, and Diego Burton, so that's better than that. That's good. See what I was talking about, Josh. When he puts combinations together, he has a lot of success. He's, he looks very, very sharp when he puts them together. End of four rounds of a comfortable win for Ahara Davis there. Seeing more from him in the future.